Hi guys. So in this video, we will be discussing how we can take input from the user in Python. And also we will be discussing about one of the functions which is type in Python. So if you want to take input from the user, so let's assume that you want the user to enter his age. So what you can do is you can create a variable called age and write input. So that's all you have to do to take input from the user. So let's print it as well. So let's run it once to see what happens. So when you run this, I hope you notice here that our cursor is blinking. All right. And nothing else happens. So this is because in our code, we wrote age is equal to input. So basically our Python program is waiting for the user to enter something. So as I said that it's a age, let's enter age. But here if you notice that, you know, it was a very vague thing that nothing was displayed that what has to be entered by the user. And for a person who is just a beginner in programming, this can be very confusing. Or, you know, if you make an application, so even for a user of that application, it can be very confusing. So for that, we can also provide a message in our input. So if we write some message like enter your page. So now the user will be, you know, clear with what he has to actually enter, whether he has to enter his name, his age or whatever stuff. So now if you run this, so it now tells that you need to enter your age. So now the person can, you know, enter the age easily because it's clear, it's visible and it's not just a cursor blinking on the screen, which, you know, does not tell anything what has to be entered or, you know, uh, I hope you got the point. But there is one issue with taking input as it is from the user. The issue is that by default, Python takes everything as a string. So when you write this sentence, it is not an integer that the user, you know, enters. Like even if the user has entered 20 or 2 or whatever number, it's a number. But by default, Python will consider it as a string. And to validate this thing, let's use the type function. Now is the time to use the type function and explain what it does. The syntax for type is very simple. So you just have to write type and open close the parenthesis. And in between the parenthesis, you need to write the variable or whatever value you need to check the data type of. So for example, I need to check the data type of age. So I will enter that and I will replace this in the print statement so that it prints the type of the data that is stored in this variable. All right. So if we run this again and if we enter 20, so you can see it prints class str and str in Python obviously means string. So you can see that by default, anything you enter is considered as a string. So that's a bit of a problem because if you want to use that detail further in your code, so that can be troublesome because you might need it as an integer so that you may, you know, perform operations on it, for example. So for that purpose, you might need to change the data type that is stored in this variable age. So for that, what you can do is you can write age equal to because we want to replace the earlier value, which is, you know, stored as a string. Okay. So we need to replace this by an integer value. So in this case, what you can do is you can write int and open and close the parenthesis again. And in between that, you need to write what value has to be changed to an integer now. So here you can pass your variable or directly the value. So in this case, I am passing the variable. So what will this line do? It will basically convert this string to an integer. All right. So let's run this once and now check the type of the variable age, like the value stored in the variable age. So if you now run this, 
now you see that it prints class int which basically refers to integer so now you can see that the data stored in the variable age is now an integer instead of a string and this is because we have changed the type of data stored in this variable age so this is called typecasting similarly if you want to convert into a float instead of an integer so you can do that as well by writing float here now since you have stored the value perfectly in the right manner that is in form of integer only so now you can you know write the further code and use the variable accordingly as it is needed so that there is no problem in further processing of your code like in this case if you write some code there is probably no use of you know changing the age like there might not be any process that you are performing over the variable age but for example if you are creating a calculator and you want to take input from the user like what are the numbers which require some operation so in that case typecasting is really important because if you take the numbers without typecasting so they both will be basically string and if you try to add two strings they concatenate so basically what i want to show is that if you don't typecast them and you add the two strings so it will be something like this they basically concatenate all right it would be something like this but if you take them both as an integer so in that case there will be not any issue because you have typecasted and it will be taken as an integer properly and using the plus symbol instead of concatenation normal addition will occur so that was the whole point of typecasting the function of type and how you can properly take input in python so i hope you like this video and find this informative so please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe guys so that you can keep getting on such informative videos and various programming tips self branding tips etc so do subscribe and thanks for watching guys